Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. And you got here just in time. Currently set up at, where am I? Granger Lake. I am at Wilson H. Fox on Granger Lake. But I'm I'm done here. We, we did this one last, we saw this, you saw this one last week. It's time for us to go on a, on a new desk, go to a, it's time for us to get on the road to fun and adventure and go to some place we've never been before and see some things we've never seen before. That's why I do what I do. We are going to head south for about, I don't know, two hours. It's an hour Google time, but man, you never know when you're in the motor home. I'm going to say two hours. We're going to drive south and we're going to go pay a visit to Lake Bastrop in the Lost Pines area of the great state of Texas. We're going to stay at a Lower Colorado River Authority Campground, North Shore Park, Lake Bastrop. So let's get on the road and go visit Lake Bastrop. See you there. We have arrived, Lake Bastrop, North Shore Park, and the wind has followed me here. Actually, I went and shot some video that you'll see next week, next Sunday, of the South Shore Park. So look forward to that. That was a very, very nice little campground. But we have arrived at the North Shore Park. Let's check out the site real quick. You know me, I like to be at the end of the road, and this is about as end of the road as I could get here at the North Shore Campground. We're in site number 73, and I'm excited because I have a trash can. I don't have to go find a dumpster. Our friends are here too, so we're, we're a pull-through site easy in and easy out it, it's electric and water only it is 30 and 50 though and we're very convenient to the facilities and we'll we'll pay a visit to that earlier later we'll pay a visit to that in a little while site is very level didn't have to pull out any blocks for an asphalt pad Nice big granite patio with a wooden picnic table, fire ring, the ubiquitous lantern hook, and a charcoal cooker. Although we probably won't take advantage of that because I travel with my own. So that's our site. Let me grab a bite of lunch. And we'll we'll deploy little red and go see some stuff. I don't know what a glad is. Lake Bastrop North Shore Park has has glad parking. I don't know what a glad is. Oh wait. So apparently that's a glad. So some kind of giant tent? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. They have rentable tents. Hey, this is pretty cool.
I don't see any occupied signs though, so how do you how do you know? Check that out. There's a a hot tub. There is a floating dock. A poly dock. The water is not very deep here. Huh. That's pretty cool. We need to go check out one of these big tents. Stay tuned. Stands for group area large tent. But they have their own deck. With hot tub. Oh, and it's warm too. So if, so if nobody shows up tonight, we might have to sneak over here and go skinny dipping. I didn't bring a bathing suit. <laughs> There'll probably be somebody here. All right, we're gonna go see one of these big tents. Your, your large tent actually comes with two burner cooker. I bet that's a gas grill. There's an egg blue ice chest. A freshly, freshly stained deck. Kitchen. Oh, check it out. A refrigerator, two beds, sofa, air conditioner, what? This isn't camping. Now that's just cool. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If that last tent was a little too big for you, well then we have a smaller one. This one you gotta you gotta duck way down to get in. That's pretty cool. Coffee maker, refrigerator, air conditioner, and a whole outdoor kitchen. But for me, I, I wouldn't be able to go in there because they've used some kind of fragrance. So I'll have a migraine for the rest of the day. So if tents are not your style, well, how about a lodge? <laughs> So there's somebody somebody got a ladder set up so we can't go all the way in but this one actually has yeah we can go in check this out a full master bath how cool is that a safe they have their own private hot tub fire, outdoor dining, cooking and dining outside, and a porch swing. Now that's special. Let's go see some more stuff. If you've ever pondered the prospect of camping in, a air, in an Airstream, you see the Airstreamers doing their thing and you wonder, what would it be like? Well, here at North Shore Park, you can actually rent and reside in an Airstream trailer. These are all outfitted with two air conditioning units. You have a grill, table, and chairs. Walking down to the water. Of course they're locked so we, we can't stick our head in there. But it's an Airstream. We've seen Airstreams before. So let's go see some other stuff. Lake Bastrop North Shore Park. So if you're interested in getting out on the water in a day like today, you don't want to consider that. The wind is easy 20 miles an hour. But anyway, they have got you covered with canoes, kayaks, and paddle boards, all available for rental at 
the Kemp store because that's closed for now. They also have a fantastic group pavilion. Oh, I'll play some tetherball. They got you covered. Big group pavilion. And look at the size of that smoker. But they don't want anybody smoking in that smoker because they got it locked up. And then there's a little beach for your swimming convenience. And this is all handicap accessible too. Thanks to the paved walkways. Let's go see some more stuff. Lake Bastrop North Shore Park actually has two group pavilions. As you can see, this one overlooks the boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, I'll give you a better view. We'll, we'll go down here. Otherwise, we might end up in the, in the drink. And there is no fishing from the courtesy docks. The courtesy docks don't seem to get a whole lot of use. I wonder if the water is deeper here than any of the other ones. Not much. It's very shallow. Water super clear, but pretty dang shallow. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. Let's go find some more stuff. One of the features at North Shore Park is a floating bridge. But you gotta take the long trail headed to South Shore Park to be able to get out here. But it is literally a floating bridge. Long way to hike to do some to do any fishing, but Water looks pretty deep based on the size of you know, that tree. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Hey, let's go see some more stuff. Lake Bastrop North Shore Park. We're done here. Actually, we're, we're gonna stay here until tomorrow morning, but we're gonna be rolling out of here first light. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out now. Not much. There's not anything spectacular happening around here from here until we depart, except cooking a steak on the charcoal. Gotta have that 
in we got to have that end of trip ribeye don't you know so to give you a, to, to recap the North Shore Park on Lake Bastrop this is a neat place it is it's well I, I, it, it's kind of quiet but but there's a, a highway right there so you get a lot of road noise, especially last night, Friday night, it was very loud. Uh, but the park itself all day has been, been very peaceful. There's not a whole lot of drive-by traffic in the camping loop because there's not a whole lot of campers in the camping loop. There's only like five sites here, you know. Okay. Now the, we found out from some campers that are staying in the tent that the nightly rate for those tent cabins is $150. Oh, that's not bad. We found out the nightly rate for... So Yappy, Yappy's joined us. Hi. So we found out the nightly rate for the Airstreams is $250. Uh, okay. We don't know what the, the nightly rate for the honeymoon suite is, though. Oh, is that what that's called? That's what I'm calling it. Okay. <laughs> So Yappy, what are your thoughts on North Shore Park, Lake Bastrop? I love Bastrop? it here. This park is very peaceful, very clean, very clean, um, and just unique. And it's really fun to see all the extra airstreams and the little tents that are prepared in the where the lake is. They've got it all nice and neat. It's really cool. It's a thumbs up. Dude. Ow, 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 ow. Tex is cool too. So, Tex, you gonna say goodbye? Everybody say goodbye. Bye. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd sure appreciate you clicking on, or can, I would be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And if you found this video to be fun and entertaining, please click on that thumbs up and share me on your social media. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why we're here. That's, we wouldn't be set up in this beautiful campsite if it was not for you guys. If it was not for y'all. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?